Welcome to our exploration of how technology is transforming agriculture in Jamaica. Agriculture is not only the backbone of our economy, but also a rich part of our cultural heritage. Today, we'll see how technological innovations are enhancing efficiencies and sustainability in our farming practices. From drones and mobile apps to precision agriculture and smart irrigation systems, let's dive into the innovations revolutionizing farming across our island. Drones are reshaping how farmers manage their crops, making tasks like spraying pesticides faster and more efficient. In February, the Rural Agricultural Development Authority, or RADA, introduced AgriSpray drones. These drones can cover an acre of land in just 20 minutes, saving hours of labor and reducing chemical waste. Mobile apps are another game changer for Jamaican farmers. These apps provide real-time market prices, weather updates, and access to microcredit services. They help farmers make informed decisions and connect directly with consumers, increasing their profitability. Precision Agriculture uses GPS and GIS technologies to optimize farming practices. Farmers can map fields, plan crop rotations, and manage resources more effectively leading to higher yields and sustainable practices. So precision agriculture, we're talking about having and knowing exactly where you have problems on the farm, right? And then now you can go and address just that problem. To combat farm theft, technologies like geofencing and audiovisual recording devices are being used. These tools help protect crops and equipment ensuring the safety and integrity of farming operations. Greenhouse farming and controlled environment agriculture allow farmers to grow crops year-round regardless of weather conditions. These technologies protect plants from pests and extreme weather, ensuring consistent production. Let's hear from some of the farmers and experts who are at the forefront of the agricultural revolution in Jamaica. Welcome to Get the Facts. This is the program that provides you with information on government's policies and initiatives. I'm Theodore Henry. Greenhouse farming has been a very sustainable and efficient way of farming. It's a method that is being used by my guest who operates a very successful business. And he is Hopeton Singh from the parish of St. Elizabeth. Welcome to the program, Mr. Singh. Thanks, pleasure being here. All right, so let's get the facts. Tell me a little bit about yourself. What got you into farming? I've been in agriculture most of my life, but I've made it a career for about 23 years now. Right, right. Um, throughout the course of this period, I've served on the Management Authority Board mm -hmm. um, for uh, plant um, uh, genetics, for the food and agriculture uh, um, resources. Right. And um, I've been asked to uh, sit on the um, National Seed Advisory Committee. I have pioneered hydroponic tomatoes in Jamaica. Mm. And, um, you know, um, uh, more or less um, uh, pioneered some other hydroponic technologies like scallions and so forth. But um, I am a humble farmer and I am married with four children. Right. Okay. Okay. So I, I got a bit of my next question already. You mentioned yeah. 23 years. Yes. That's, that, that's it. But this is get the facts. So we have to do some definition sometimes. Yes. You've said hydroponic farming. Yes. Tell us a little bit about what hydroponics So the, the word hydroponics in, uh, means water at work, mm -hmm. all right? And essentially it's growing plants um, in a nutrient solution right. um, with or without uh, growing media. 
Now, if you're growing a leafy Soil, green, you mean. precisely. Right. Well, with hydroponics, it's completely soilless. Mm -hmm. We might use a soilless media. Right. And that's um, to physically anchor the plants. Oh, okay. So for a vine crop, like a tomato or a pepper plant, we need something to anchor the roots. Mm. Um, for leafy greens, like maybe lettuce, um, you could literally grow that in what we call an NFT channel, a nutrient film technique channel, right. where you just use a nutrient solution to grow those. All right. Well, I, that is hmm, that's very interesting because you mentioned some plants. You mentioned tomato in particular. Yes. That's that you've pioneered hydroponics. Right. Tomato growing tomatoes in hydroponics. Yes. Take the so you would fly this over your farm, map the entire area so it can give you the actual acreage as well. But you will also know what is happening from looking on the, 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 the actual green and the brown spots and red that something is happening on the farm and then now as we would have seen earlier with the, with the sprayer drone, you could now program the information from this drone into the sprayer drone and address just that area. So we're talking about growing smart, eating smart. That is our mantra in the ministry right now. And so we want to tell farmers that in order for you to grow smart, you have to actually not waste things, right? Your, your, your chemicals are actually very expensive, so we don't want to waste them. While these technologies offer great benefits, there are challenges such as high initial costs and the need for training. However, initiatives like government grants, subsidies, and educational programs are helping farmers overcoming these hurdles. The future of agriculture in Jamaica is bright. With continued advancements in technology, we can look forward to even greater improvements in efficiency and sustainability. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the technological transformation of Jamaican agriculture. To learn more and support these advancements, visit the links provided below. Together, let's grow smart and eat smart. Special thanks to the Ministry of Agriculture and Fisheries, RADA, and all the farmers and experts who contributed to this video.